Minasang konnichiwa! Jin Sensei des. Hello everyone, I am Teacher Jin. Welcome to Learning Basic Japanese with Jin Sensei. To learn more lessons on basic Japanese, hit the subscribe and bell button below to get notifications of the latest videos. You have learned how to read and write the 46 basic hiragana characters and other additional characters in the previous lesson. Now, it's time to move on to katakana writing. Today's presentation is a continuation of Module 3 on checking out Japanese sounds and scripts, especially focusing on writing hiragana and katakana. Ja, minasang, isho ni katakana o benkyo shimasho. Let's study katakana together. In this lesson, you will learn how to write and read katakana characters and realize the importance of being able to write and read katakana. What do we need to know about basic katakana? Like hiragana, katakana is also a syllabary from the word syllable. That means it is a set of written symbols that represent the syllables used to write a given language. However, they vary in terms of usages. Hiragana is used to write a native Japanese word, while katakana is used primarily to write borrowed words with foreign origin or basically non-Japanese words like names of foreigners, brand names, foods, and gadgets. In the cover slide of this lesson presentation, have you noticed my name on the bottom part? Notice that there are katakana characters written above my given name. In Japan, family name or surname are written first before the first name. So mine is Semini Genedetto. My surname starts with letter C. But since there is no independent consonant in Japanese that starts with C, so I need to look for an equivalent syllabary or sound symbol that can substitute it. So all in all, my surname becomes Semini. Though they sound the same, the first syllable is substituted to katakana se. Since mi and ni are available in katakana, so it was easy for me to just copy it. Luckily, the sounds and syllables of my first name are also available in katakana. We have characters ji, ne, and de. Since there is no independent th sound or consonant in katakana, I need to replace it on another available sound that is almost similar to it. Therefore, I had the character to. All in all, my first name becomes Genedetto. Semini Genedetto. Do you want to know how to write your name too in Japanese? Then buckle up and learn more about katakana. You may also try to write your name using the katakana characters. Just find the similar sounds of the syllables of your name in the chart. Imagine yourself walking in a Japanese street and you are looking for a bus stop. Bus in Japanese is basu. Ba -su. Ba -su. If you have the background in how to read katakana, then you will know how to read basu as it is written in the signage. McDonald's is also available in Japan. Japanese read it as makodonarudo. Makudonarudo. Makodonarudo. And if you want to enjoy from your very tiring weekdays, you may go to karaoke with your friends. In Japanese, it is pronounced as karaoke. 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 Some people go to bigo eko karaoke or big eko karaoke. And if you want to go shopping, you may want to buy clothes in the famous Japanese brand Uniqlo. Japanese people read it as Uniqlo. 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 See and read its logo again. The logo contains four katakana characters, U, Ni, Ku, and Ro. Simply, Uniqlo. These are only samples of the signages written in katakana. It would really be an advantage for you if you can read katakana. Katakana is actually just another set of symbols to write the very same phonetic sounds. That being said, if you learned how to pronounce hiragana, then you have also learned how to pronounce katakana since they have similar phonetic sounds. There are 46 kana in katakana. 
just like there are 46 symbols in hiragana. Though they sound the same, they differ in terms of writing their symbols or characters. Like hiragana, each katakana has its own proper stroke order and you should do well to stick to it. A samkana can very easily be mistaken for another if written out of order. As you can see in the left chart, hiragana characters are somewhat circular, curvy, cursive, and continuous, while katakana characters are somewhat made of lines and are pointed. Katakana is noticeably less round and more angular than hiragana. Let's start with the katakana vowels a, i, u, e, o. The first letter is the katakana a, pronounced as a, a, a. There are two stroke orders in writing a. Make sure that the tip of the second stroke is a little bit curved and not straight. Katakana i, pronounced as i, i, i. There are two stroke orders in writing i. Make sure that the first stroke is very slightly curved. Katakana u, pronounced as u, u, u. There are two stroke orders in writing u. If you remember hiragana u, it looks similarly with katakana u. However, the first stroke or the short line on top of katakana u and hiragana u differ. Katakana u uses a straight line vertically and touches the second stroke while the short line on top of hiragana u is separated from the second stroke and is slightly slant. Katakana e pronounced as e. 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 Remember when you're writing, stroke number three should be twice longer than stroke number one. Pay attention with e. As well, it resembles the capital I of the Roman alphabet, it actually means E. Katakana O, pronounced as O. 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 Make sure not to make stroke number three too long. Next is the Katakana K group, Ka, Kiku, Keko. The K group brings us some similarities with hiragana. Katakana ka, pronounced as ka. 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 In particular, it is quite similar to hiragana ka, losing the last stroke and becoming less roundish. Note that the first stroke in katakana Ka is slightly curved. Katakana ki, pronounced as ki. 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 It is also a simplification of hiragana ki. Use these similarities for your advantage. Note that there is no tail anymore in katakana ki. Katakana ku, pronounced as ku, ku, ku. It looks like the Arabic number seven. Ku is almost similar with katakana u, but a little longer and thinner, and the first stroke is longer than u. Katakana ke, pronounced as ke, ke. If you notice, ke is almost similar with ku, however, the second stroke on top is longer than ku, and the third stroke of ke is somewhat roundish compared to ku. Katakana ko, pronounced as ko. 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 It is very easy to write since it looks like an incomplete square. Welcome to Katakana S group. Sa, shi, su, se, so. Katakana sa, pronounced as sa. 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 
It consists of three stroke orders. Kataka na she, pronounced as she. 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 S group is home of the emoticon favorite she, which does look like a smiling face. Kataka na su, pronounced as su. 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 It consists of two stroke orders. The first stroke is continuous and looks like number seven. Kataka na se, pronounced as se. 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 Note that se looks similarly with hiragana se. Kataka na so, pronounced as so. So. It is composed of two stroke orders. Note that you should start at the top going downward when you write so. Note also that the first stroke should be very slightly slant and the starting point should be aligned with the starting point of the second stroke. You should remember this point so that so will not look like katakana n, which will be discussed later. Next is katakana t group. Ta, chi, tsu, te, to. Katakana ta, pronounced as Try to look at your own katakana chart. Does katakana ta looks familiar? Now, look at katakana ku. Ta and ku are almost similar, except that ta has third stroke, which is a small line written slightly slant in the second stroke order. Katakana chi, pronounced as chi. 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 It consists of three stroke orders. Katakana tsu. Does it look familiar? Yes, it is. Because katakana tsu looks like katakana shi. However, there are slight differences that must really be considered when writing them. Notice that the first and second stroke of katakana shi are still slant but almost horizontal, while in tsu, the first and second stroke orders are almost vertical. Lastly, for shi, the third stroke should start at the bottom going upward, while for katakana tsu, the third stroke should start from the top going downward. The same with tsu, starting points of stroke orders 1 to 3 should still be aligned. Katakana te, pronounced as te. Te. It is composed of three stroke orders. Note that the line on top of first stroke order should be shorter than the second stroke, and the last stroke should be slightly curved and not straight. Katakana to, pronounced as to. 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 It is very easy to write since it consists of two stroke orders only. Note that though the second stroke is short, it should not be aligned with the stop of the first stroke. Therefore, it should not touch the ground and should be left hanging. Next is the katakana N group. Na, ni, nu, ne, no. Katakana na, pronounced as na. 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 Though it looks like a cross, note that the bottom part of the second stroke should be somewhat curvish and not straight. Katakana ni, pronounced as ni. 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 Do you know that ni is a word which means number two? Just like number two, Ni is made up of two lines. Note that the first stroke should be slightly shorter than the second stroke. Katakana nu, pronounced as nu. 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 Looks familiar, right? It is somehow similar to katakana su. However, they vary in terms of the writing the second stroke order. In katakana su, the second stroke is connected to the tail of the first stroke, while in katakana nu, the second stroke forms a cross along the tail of the first stroke. Katakana ne, pronounced as ne. 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 Notice that the first stroke or short line on top of katakana ne is similar to that of katakana vowel u. 
Take note also of the very little space before you write the last stroke. Katakana no, pronounce as no. 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 It's very easy to remember no since it only consists of one stroke. Remember to start writing no from the top going downward and make it look like a slight curve. Next is the katakana H group. Ha, hi, fu, he, ho. Katakana ha, pronounce as ha. Ha, ha. It is very easy to write and remember since it is like the two laugh lines in our face when we laugh. Katakana hi, pronounce as hi. Hi. He. It looks like a small letter T of the Roman alphabet. However, the second stroke should not form a cross with the first stroke. Katakana fu, pronounced as fu. 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 Remember, it is not hu, even if it belongs to H group. Note that it looks like katakana u, but there is no line on top of it. Katakana he. Pronounce as he, he, he. It is also very easy to remember since it looks like a check mark turned upside down. It looks exactly very similar to hiragana with only two stroke orders. Katakana ho. Pronounce as ho. 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 Notice that the first and second stroke forms a cross, but remember to emphasize the point on the bottom part of the second stroke. Next is the katakana M group. Ma, mi, mu, me, mo. Katakana ma. Pronounce as ma. 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 The first stroke of katakana ma is similar to katakana a, but it is little wider. Note that the second stroke is slant. Katakana mi. Pronounce as mi. 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 Just like katakana ni, which means number two, mi is also a number prefix, which means number three. That is why it is made up of three lines. Katakana mu, pronounced as mu, mu, mu. It looks like an incomplete triangle or a big number four. Katakana me, pronounced as me, me, me. If you remember katakana no, you just add a short slant line across no to write katakana me. Katakana mo, pronounced as mo, mo, mo. It looks like hiragana mo, but it is more linear, especially the third stroke. Also, the first stroke is shorter than the second stroke. Take note of these differences. Next is katakana y group. Ya, yu, yo. There's no available sounds or characters in e ro and e ro because yi and ye sound similarly to vowels e and e. Katakana ya, pronounce as ya. 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 It's very easy to remember ya since it looks like letter y of the Roman alphabet. Katakana yu, pronounce as yu. Yu. Katakana yo, pronounced as yo. 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 It looks like a capital letter E of the Roman alphabet. Very easy to remember, right? Next is katakana R group. Ra, ri, ru, re, ro. 
katakana ra pronounce as ra 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 note that this short horizontal line on top of katakana ra it's like you're writing katakana fu with a short line on top of it katakana ri pronounce as ri 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 it is similar to hiragana ri However, hiragana ri has another font variation since it can also have its cursive form, while katakana ri can only have the first and second stroke separated. Katakana ru, pronounced as ru, ru, ru. When you write it, it's like combining characters no and re together. Katakana re, pronounced as re, re, re. Katakana ro, pronounced as ro, ro, ro. It's very easy to remember since it looks like a small square. Next is wa and wu. Katakana wa, pronounced as wa, wa, wa. It looks like katakana vowel u without the short vertical line on top. Katakana wu, pronounced as wu, wu, wu. It looks similar with katakana wa. However, you need to remove the short vertical line in the left side and add another line in the lower part of the first row. Last character is N, sometimes pronounced as M. Be careful in writing N since it looks very similar with character so. Voiced consonants or voiced katakana are also called extended consonant syllables. These are considered voice because there is a vibration in the vocal cords when you pronounce these consonants. Once you memorize all the characters in katakana, there are still some additional 25 characters left to be learned. There are five more group consonant sounds that are written by either affixing two tiny lines similar to a double quotation mark called dakten or a tiny circle called handakten. To write these voice consonants, you just simply remember the base or original characters from the basic katakana chart. For the ga row, add dakten to ka row so you can have katakana ga, gi, Gu, ge, go. For the za row, add dakten to sa row. So with that, you can come up with the character za, ji, zu, ze, zo. For the da row, add dakten to ta row. So you can have da, ji, zu, de, do. In the ha characters, you can come up with two other groups. By adding dakten, you can have characters ba, bi, bu, be, bo. And if you will add han dakten or the small circle, we'll have pa, pi, pu, pe, po. We also have additional katakana characters by simply adding small ya, yu, or yo at the ending of e row such as ki, shi, chi, ni, hi, mi, ri, gi, ji, bi, and pi. For example, katakana ki plus small ya equals kya. Make sure to emphasize the size of small ya, hi, and yo when writing. So all in all, these are the additional katakana characters using the small ya, yu, and yo. We also have long vowels in katakana, which are represented by a dash or small line symbol, unlike in hiragana that you really need to spell the double or long vowel. For example, kado, takoshi, sutsu, keiki, supotsu. We also have double consonants in katakana. 
Double consonants or a pause in speech such as double K, TT, PP, SS are represented by a small or half size katakana tsu as shown in the examples. You must emphasize a small tsu. Just like kikko, rashu, osu, roketto, machi, natsu, handubagu, baji, kidzu, beddo, webbo, stop. All in all, these are the characters found in the complete katakana chart. So make sure to memorize them all so that you will know how to read and write some Japanese words that uses katakana.